police raid Top G Andrew Tate's house and seize supercars, Shakira diss track breaks YouTube viewing records, football game chaos after fan kicks goalie, and Elon Musk breaks record for largest loss of money in history. All this and more on The Short Show, where we just go with the... Romanian police have seized goods and money worth $4 million from the top G, Andrew Tate's property in Bucharest. As part of a criminal inquiry into alleged human trafficking, authorities took into administration 29 assets including watches, cash and cars, such as a Rolls Royce, a BMW, a Mercedes-Benz, a Lambo and a Porsche, but uh, no Bugatti. <laughs> Cobra Tate was detained alongside his brother Tristan last month for running an organized criminal group that exploited women. To put it kindly, this hasn't stopped Tate's mob of adoring followers, known as Tate Sexuals, from parroting his motivational malarkey in the hopes of developing some extra testosterone. And to think that none of this would have happened if he hadn't taunted Greta Thunberg on Twitter. The president of South Sudan has gone viral for a very unfortunate reason. President Salva Kiir, 71 years of age, was attending a public ceremony for a road opening. Standing up for the national anthem, cameras drawn on him, he proceeded to uh, take a leak. This extreme act of patriotism was no laughing bladder and was rapidly censored, with authorities arresting six journalists on suspicion of circulating unauthorized footage. With more on this story is our in-house expert, Mo Lester, live from the capital, Juba. Bit of an unfortunate moment for the president, right? Sebastian, this is a serious moment, okay? Authorities uh, have arrested dissident journalists and, and the local press freedom groups here are up uh, in arms. Seems like a bit of an overreaction. I mean, the, the chap's 71, right? I want to keep it all in control at, uh, at that age. This uh, really is a grave event. Uh, many here calling for the president to retire, some even to talking about a potential uh, military coup being organized to take over the country. A coup? How about better access to public bathrooms? This is like? a matter of national security. Uh, uh, Rebel groups could make use of this as propaganda uh, to delegitimize the current regime. Uh, really pressing concerns here. Almost as pressing as nature's call, right? Reports that uh, the, the country's social security net is at breaking point. Uh, the civil war is on the brink. Uh, and that the humanitarian situation is also critical no, right dude. now. Cry me a river. Or rather some bladder control medication. A new declassified US government report on UFO sightings by US troops has revealed 510 new cases reported during 2022. While nearly half of the new sightings were deemed as unremarkable as a depressed liberal arts student, over 100 of the encounters remained unexplained. Many of the unexplained sightings demonstrated unusual flight characteristics or performance capabilities, though none have been linked to official extraterrestrial activity. The report also aims to, quote, destigmatize experiences with UFOs in a similar manner Barack Obama destigmatized bombing civilians. And now, your entertainment news. Hey, uh, queens and kings, I hope the new year brings a lot of prosperity and good vibes and like positive energy to you and that you manifest all your goals. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's next? Healing crystals? Oh, MG Sebastian, I just bought the new rainbow moonstone. Like my vibes are gonna be as immaculate as Shakira is right now. Shakira? Like, woo! <laughs> tell yeah. me, tell me more and uh, put, put some pictures up uh, while you're at it. Shakira's new diss track has absolutely shattered Latin YouTube viewing records. Entitled Out of Your League, the four minute song is about her ex-partner and famous soccer player Gerard Piquet cheating on her last year with a 23 year old. Tea time. Wait, wait, keep your shirts on for a second. Fine. Not only did this bloke cheat on Shakira, he did it with someone 12 years younger than him. I mean, DiCaprio's got some competition. Shakira was pissed as well, like saying in her song that it was like swapping a Ferrari for a Twingo and like a Rolex for a Casio. Ooh, okay, and what did PK say about it? Well, he literally went on a podcast with a Casio watch. Then he actually bought a Twingo car. Drama alert. Woo! Wait, 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 so hold your horses. I don't have any uh, fashion. It's an expression, you knob. PK is 35, Shakira is 45. Yeah, so? It's a 10 year gap. 10 being the percentage of the world's salt used to de-ice US roads. 
Okay. Percentage. That's a 10 letter word. Right. And yeah. knowing the sun sets at 10 p.m. in the town of Rumqui. Not sure I'm like. Connect the bloody dots. The it's all the fault of the immigrants. Draw. Power. Precision. This video is sponsored by the all-new all-electric CO2 Eliminator. Eliminator. Boasting the world's first solar-powered battery. Sunshine. Sunshine. A maximum range of 20 kilometers per charge. Most. Most. Lightweight, eco-friendly bamboo armor. Yummy. Yummy. Two high-tech parallel parking sensor. Yummy. Yummy. 16 built-in smoothie machine. Yummy. 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 And an AI assistant by the name of Greta. How dare you. This bad boy is guaranteed to obliterate the opposition eco-friendly style. Armed with a new 120mm vape gun and a 50 caliber carbon capture machine gun, suck the life out of your enemies and the pollution out of the air. Bye bye. Bye bye. The CO2 Eliminator. Eliminator. Destroy your foe. Save the planet. Battery sold separately. Performance depends on the astrology sign of the tank commander. Teacher Summer Spin on and how are we getting ads for literal tanks now? You're Afghani. You're not supposed to like tanks. <laughs> Do the Afghanis have tanks, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> Classic that one. Finance news. <laughs> Brent, top some hot business news my way then, will you? Mm. Yeah, just, just give me a sad pal, just finish up with it. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Of course. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Just feel free to ping me and then we, we, we can take this offline. Well, let me just run out the flagpole and uh, I'll circle back, I'll circle back to you on this. Okay. I mean, no, no, no need to boil the ocean on this one, right? <laughs> I'll boil you in the f***ing <laughs> ocean if you don't hurry up. You got it, boss. Unfortunately, I got really bad news for you folks uh, because our Lord and Savior, Elon Musk, uh, has broken the world record for the largest loss of personal fortune in history. Oh no. Anyways, from November 2021 to December 2022, Elon Musk lost around $165 billion. Billion dollars based on figures published by Forbes. I love Forbes. I love Forbes. Didn't realize the child support payments were that expensive. Hmm. No, 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 no. It's due to the 65% fall in the value of Tesla shares in 2022. And obviously Musk owns a bunch of shares, so they could technically regain all their value. But for the time being, he's lost a lot of money. Right, so I assume Logan Paul yeah. is the richest person in the world then uh, after CryptoZoo? <laughs> I wish, pal. I wish. CryptoZoo is the future. Uh, it's actually Bernard Arnault uh, with estimated value of $188 billion. I mean, I mean, we're talking about the guy who owns uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, Dior, uh, Fendi, you know, Givenchy. Brent, we got it. Right, okay. Mark Jacobs, Kenzo, uh, Celine. Shut the f*** up. Sports. Well, the World Cup's over now, so no one cares about sports anymore. Sad, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, you good, Dootski? <laughs> like, that's just like straight up not true. Like, I'm actually really into gymnastics right now. Oh, yeah. okay, and I assume it's because of the impressive structural flexibility demonstrated by these athletes. Why just late? Like, look at this friggin' handstand. Uh, I think that's what they call it. Sad, so this isn't acceptable behavior, tight. okay? Get on with your segment. Yeah. And. Send that to me privately. Yo, what's good, dudes and dude? It's my name's Thad the freaking chat. How brick. Things got ugly this weekend in the soccer clash between Arsenal and Tottenham when a Tottenham fan kicked the Arsenal goalie in the back after the game. Spicy. Yo, Arsenal won the game two goals to zero. And throughout the game, their goalie, A.A. Ron Ramsdale, was exchanging a fair amount of trash talk with the fans behind his goal. When the final whistle blew, <laughs> Ramsdale turned to go get his freaking water bottle and started just making out with the badge on his Arsenal jersey. Right? Like, it's kind of kind of hot to be honest with you. Like, no homo, though. <laughs> I'd hit. The thing is, dude, like, a fan saw this as disrespectful, leapt over the railing, kicked the goalie, and then ran away into the crowd. Not freaking cool, Browski. <laughs> the ginger Bruce Lee strikes again, eh? 
What happened afterwards? Well, as you can see, his team managed to pull him away. But the cops are going to be involved. And the dude is going to face, like, a lifetime ban from attending games. Like, dude, yeah. like, good luck finding a skinny ginger white man. That's essentially half the uh, male population of the UK. Uh, the other half, of course, overweight. Folks, that's it for the program today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, do it. And, of course, shalom. Losers. Okay, that one's cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds 2016, bro. I can't be doing that no more. <laughs>